Development in Shortland Street. Sorry. I could have sworn that I was interrupting something. No, no, no. No. Well, that's probably a good thing. He's not your type. You were right. Hamish isn't my type. And I don't think Huey is your type either. Ever since we met, there's been this thing between us. And I think it's about time we both stopped ignoring it and just got on with it, don't you? How dare she? Norman wanted to have a baby more than anything. She knows that. You mate is in shock and she's mourning. I should never have brought it up. She never intended to have his child, Maya. She just didn't want me to. Come on, let's just try and forget about it. How can I? Norman died believing that he was going to be a father one day, that the handsome line was going to continue. And hopefully it will. Once Lima has got her mind around... Oh, she's never going to change her mind. Maya, it can still happen. He can still father a child. Jay. No, the morning, the morning of the accident, he told me things are going to work out. And you never had a chance to talk to him again, so that is the end of it. If I had of, we both know what he would have said. We don't know. He still wanted me to have his baby, Maya. I know it. You don't know, not for sure. Fine, how do you explain the letter from the fertility clinic? My name is still on that list. A mistake. No, no, you don't get coincidences like that. It's, it's too big, it's too crazy. Baby, you are the one who's sounding crazy right no, now. No, Maya. I... We are upset. We are trying to get over losing our friend. We can't talk about this stuff, okay? Okay. Good. Now, I'll make a cup of tea and we'll just sit down and relax. I can't. I've got to, I've got to go to Coltrane. Not right now. Yes, I have to. We're understaffed as it is. Okay, I'll come with you. No. No, stay here. I'll, I'll call you if I need you, okay? Be there, not with help. Look, the kitchen hand can take care of everything. And people wouldn't expect the place to be up and running as usual anyway. Look at me, Shan. I walked away from that crash without a scratch. Why? I don't know. How could someone die and someone else not have a mark on them? In the same car? Baby, I don't know. All that I do know... Was that me and Maria? We are the luckiest girls in the whole world. Mm. Oh, go away, please. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. Oh, well, I'll stop right now then. There's nothing deeply humiliating at all about hurling yourself at your boss and him backing off at 100 miles an hour. Thank you. And what can I get you? No, I'm right, thanks, mate. You've got paperwork to do. Look, it's been a funny old time. Mm. This really nice guy died, yeah. And it's shaken all of us around. <laughs> it's turned me into a teenage drip. Thank you, Norman. Look, there's no denying that it was a thing between us, but it broke up. Still a few bits and pieces hanging around. <laughs> Sounds like the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I'm oh, sorry, you're trying to work. <laughs> Is that Jake's iPod? Yeah, I'm downloading some songs for E.T., but I keep stuffing it up. I thought Jake and his iPod were inseparable. <laughs> Until he found out that he had some big talent for photography. Still kind of him to lend it to E.T.? He's leasing it to me. hundred bucks bond and then ten dollars per week. Oh, it's a bit steep. Yeah, he's got all these expenses and then went on about supply and demand. I'm sure I could have negotiated a better deal. This time... And Essie, listen to this. Yeah. This song is so my time. It's still cool. <laughs> Come on.
God, poor Lee May. Just the thought that she'll never be able to cuddle into him again. Don't. Yeah, it's got to be tough on her though. Especially the way she's keeping everything in. I mean, has anyone seen her cry even once? Mm, maybe that's the sort of thing she likes to do by herself. Uh, she seems to want to be by herself a lot at the moment. Yeah, I reckon. You know, I thought we'd be doing this over there tonight. You know, it's what Norman would want, to be surrounded by his mates. She wouldn't have it. It's good that Lee May's got some time alone with him. It's obviously what she needed. <laughs>